Hi, my name is Alex, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Newspapers.com. Newspapers.com provides a little bit of everything. You'll be able to find small-town Alabama newspapers like the Sumter County Sun, and you'll also be able to access bigger city papers like the San Francisco Examiner. To find Newspapers.com, first go to the library's website, choose Databases, and use the database search bar. If you're planning on doing serious research with newspapers.com, I would recommend creating a free account. Later on this video, we'll show a few things you can do with it. Before we get into searching, let's go through the ways you can locate papers by location. First, you can click Browse, choose a state, then a city or town. Alternatively, we could choose Papers, and search for a location. In this case, I'll look for Hendersonville, North Carolina. And now let's get to our search. Newspapers.com is a fairly simple search with one search bar. You can choose Add More Info to narrow your search by location or date. For this video, we're going to look for coverage of the 1917 Russian Revolution from Alabama newspapers. So we'll start with a date range and location, and then search for Russia and Revolution. One quick advanced searching tip is to put an asterisk on the end of Russia. That will look for branched spellings of the words, such as Russia's, Russian, and so on. We get 909 results, which is not a bad number. Let's go ahead and click on the one from the Aniston Star. You'll see each of your words highlighted, and you can use the arrows to scroll through each mention. If you've found an article you want to keep, you can choose Print Save, then choose the entire page or a select portion, then Print or Save. If you've created an account with Newspapers.com, you can choose to make clippings of articles. Just choose Clip, drag in place, add a description or not, and then select clip again. You can view your clippings here or with the button at the top of the screen. Another reason to create an account is the ability to save searches. That way you can keep track of the searches that you've already run and come back to them if they were useful. Just choose Save Notify and your search will be saved. Choose Search at the top of the screen, and you'll see your recent searches and your saved searches. And that's all for this tutorial. Hopefully you learned the basics of using newspapers.com, and if you have any questions, just ask a librarian.